Yo guys, what's up? I know how much you guys have been waiting for some OS content, so uh, I decided to look over an old VOD with Vaughn of a finals match that came out around uh, when Imi came out. We'll be reviewing uh, some old stuff that happens and how I used to play, and it's you could have watched me piss grief and troll. It, it's kind of funny, so. Also, it's very informative, so there's that. Very, very informative VOD. Anyways. Hope you enjoy. I'll bring it up. But I was talking to the Bells to talk about how I was just like, I int for the orbs like Flabber int for Skittlecrab. Cause this is like earlier on where I've not reformed yet. Oh, this is this is really old. Ah, uh, yeah, it's it's real old. I'm an orb enthusiast in it. Very big orb enthusiast. Orbs over everything. Wow. I don't even. Wow, it's hard to even remember like. It's just when Amy launched. This is the the tournament they did for when Amy launched. It's unique to see what like how you used to play the game, and how many yeah. like I've I fixed most of the mistakes, but like some of them are just like I need to fix still. Like some positioning mistakes I make a lot of times. So we start off with a strong lead, but we ended up losing this match. Wow. Yeah, this is a pretty odd start. Yeah, this is a pretty goaded start, and we somehow tossed. I died, and I, I, I go for these freaking Hailberry plays so much that it's, it's grief. Yeah, because the, the main thing with Drex Estelle is, uh, you, like, people were always, like, super confused about what it actually did, but it was actually just, like, a... You just grinded out XP and you never really cared about anything else. So like you had to play like super slow in a weird way. So whenever I played it, I always just remembered my like number one resource that I ever cared. I didn't care about core control or anything. I just cared about what my HP bar, <laughs> my HP bar was. I always played Drex a little differently mm -hmm. than other people. So I always, I always had like a more core control focus. As soon as you did this, what do you think you're goal should be as a as a player like what what like decision making wise like, go after okay the you don't have adrenaline rush go after lumos okay or why, why does it go after lumos catch the pass because like the tourist blocking it that would be my thought there i'm pretty sure whenever i get a kill on this character i just think about okay like how do i best abuse the 3v2 my my number one objective is okay so like if I had to like order the importance of your abilities on Drex in a 3v2, it's like, do I have obviously shots, mm -hmm. but then like almost immediately after, especially with Drex Cell, is do I have invis? Yeah. I don't. I don't give a fuck about my R. <laughs> I never. I never care. The only time you use R is like when, at least back then, it was like, okay, you are their Drakkar and shoot him. So as soon as I get this kill, my first decision. Unironically, since you can't get a pass for this, and I don't think you can kill Lumos, low key would just go yeah. up here. I saw this thing. Yeah, and then he, he gets the dribble pass over the bottom. Yeah, if if you clear the ball, if if you're if you're a stealth clears the ball with this guy, which they should, then you you like invis down, you invis mm -hmm. here, and then I would run straight here and try to shove with like auto shotgun because you can't kill Lumos. Also, and, you, and you can't pass. I would have, I, as soon as this kill, I would have instantly invis and ran straight here. Cause I, if I'm playing your car in this format, I, I know like I can't get the pass, and I know I don't have the like. You just know if you can kill or not. <laughs> um, I, like obviously you die to the orb, but then like I don't even think you take all this damage here as soon as you kill Ginger. Cause it like again, my number one goal when it was this meta was I need my I need my HP over everything because just the fact that I'm alive is like the most stressful part of playing the character because he punishes so hard. Yeah. I would rather keep my HP and have a, a play more flexible than get a KO and then trade. The my mentality around this play of the game when Ivy is releasing, my funny thing is I'm the YOLO Q player. I So Bells was using, talking about how you should just use R for stagger just like play off like stagger and HP. Bro, I was yeah. the Yolo Q player, so I would just like save my R only for watching the enemy just turbo grief misposition and to, like get kills that way. And just uh, like basically <laughs> the opposite of everything you said. Um, I fuck with this. 
I think you go way too far back here. Oh yeah. So another thing was like since I'm I'm not used to playing that many tournaments or like playing with my teammates, I always like play in the like the way where it's like I don't depend on literally anybody. This is this is the turbo grief play I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, this this is not this is not the juice. You either cut the pass or you just pressure Lumos on the side, but you don't do either. So you end up just like walking around. Because like right here, if you cut straight up, is you can't kill this guy. If you cut straight up, then they're all clumped like in the top half. Mm -hmm. Okay, think of it. If if there's like a controlled game state. Okay, so like they have control of like this. That's it. And so like when you are here, you have control of like... like this so this is like what you have so as soon as you hit the ball in this game as soon as you clear the ball to them you essentially give up having control over the game like okay. you either have to take it back by killing them or winning like a bunch of strike wars or you have to wait for them to give it back so at least during this time in the game people would would just do it but it's it's important to recognize that and also this does this wouldn't happen at this point in the game but like that's why people are like dribble stalling now mm -hmm. because as soon as you give the ball over you're essentially saying i don't have any control over the game anymore so here when you chase the ball and they get it like they can decide to do whatever they want but if you walk like right here uh -huh. and he goes down they have no because your whole goal is to just combo with her in Drex Estelle, you're weak without the other one. Because if, if, unless there's some weird game state these guys can cover, which they do. So if you walk here, the only place Geek can go is like here, and then the play is dead, and the ball will get over to you when Estelle spawns, and then it's your time to go. It's really easy to like, I see it in player camps, but you're like super focused, and a lot of people will just be like, I'm 2v3, I need to hit the ball, and it's hard to remember like, if this is their like zone of of the ball but it's like if you stand right here <laughs> and your goal is for the for you not to lose your lead because the whole point of your comp is to like drag it out and hit 10 and then abuse it there's there's no play for them to make anymore but when you walk here it gives them a play to make because like lumos could cut away here if you cut away and then you they have a 1v1 or like if Ginger goes invis and, and blows past you, or if you go for too deep for a KO, they can punish you. It's like one of those things where then going here, essentially Geek can go this way or this way, or they fuck you up 3v1. <laughs> so I'm not a huge not a huge fan because then you kind of walk around and then you give a bunch of space when like you're like the premier like zoning character in the game because your char this character was like the most broke. I'm watching what this character is doing it's so broken like what is that you just exploded <laughs> yeah the, the whole reason this goal goes in no cap is is because of how you play the positioning i'm like pretty sure yeah and like when i was looking back on it i didn't realize all that other stuff you're talking about but like especially like right right like a few seconds earlier like i had such an easy way of killing ginger pop like so free if i just like ult him right here and then shotgun him but i go for the orb <laughs> yeah. It's the classic. Did you just go to your orb again? <laughs> oh my god. For your... I told you, I have bra I was brain off this time. I, I fixed it though. I fixed that problem. I was the most brain off orb grabber in the world. That is crazy. He just like gave up the whole field for the like, two goalie orbs. <laughs> the cooldown reduction, bro. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Oh, crazy. my cooldown's gonna come back up. <laughs> so, like, it would be a mode where, like, okay, so right here, you should just walk at Lumos. If this was current game iteration, I would strike because the core is pretty slow and instantly invis so I could keep up with it. Because you're guaranteed to blow by this guy because this, this character won't beat you in a strike war yeah. with auto strike. And then you have goal set up here, and then you have your second shotgun, and then your other forward if they're doing anything correct is on like this half. So that's what I would do now as a comparison. Because um, My... obviously the gameplay is super outdated, mm -hmm. but with how the game is now, um, with your character, it's definitely the vibe of like, 
keep the ball on their side the whole time and then you clean up like or when you watch some tournament stuff you can tell what they're trying to do because it feels like their their actions flow into one another what the fuck are you doing <laughs> That's what me and Bells were saying. Bro, I would dude what you understand? You? Okay, I've improved a lot from this, I swear. Right? But like in this video, I just wanted to, to like look Where back on it and see how going? bad I was. But dude, I what thought this actually, was what, this, what was, the, this was <laughs> this was this was this was when I was first introduced back, okay? So I just I forgot that I could just walk through the turret, so I went around it to try to get to the play. Whoa <laughs> guys. Whoa. Oh my god Bro, we don't talk oh, about this place. This is crazy. <laughs> that, not, not my streamer. Holy moly. You kill him here. This is a nice reversal. Right here, after you do that reversal, like my plan is like, okay, I want to link up same side as my Estelle and stuff. It's almost like a checklist. Is my HP. Okay, so one, someone dies checklist is my HP uh, here. one is my HP greater than 40 it's like a flow chart actually okay so okay. is my HP greater than 40% here are my options and I look to score because scoring wins you the game or can I look to solo or KO okay, it's score or KO and then if it's this um, the the side set for KO is because obviously I had to use cooldowns. Is can my can teammate my other score, teammate yeah. help? Yeah, help. Can score. my other teammate help me? No, 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 no. Not oh, score, help, help wanna, kill. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, with Estelle Drex, it was it was usually if you go to kill, you're not going to do it alone until the adrenaline rush. Same yeah. thing as it is now. So you have to keep in mind, like, just try to think, like, when I kill that guy, um, did, if I did it solo. Do my, does my teammate have enough damage for us to 100 to zero someone and easily do it with my shotgun? So like at the very beginning game where they double killed, like maybe if one of them is still alive, you know you can go for it. If your HP was above 40, that's like you have to. The only difference is you get faster and faster these. But my, I'm just doing 40 as an arbitrary number, just so we're we're clear. Yeah. So let's say my HP is less. It just really depends on like the meta and who you're playing against. But in this situation, it's like okay. It's like how close am I to being staggered? I guess. How close so am I being less... killed? Right. It's like yeah. Depending on how yeah. much abilities they have too, there's so many factors, right? Exactly, so. and it depends on the comp. So when my HP is less than forty, nowadays, I'll, I'll preface this for nowadays. It's like, do I rotate out? And, you're, and we're going to preface this with with comp. Like, can I rotate out with my goalie? Because they probably have more pressure than me. Or what I do a lot when I play Drakkar now. Um, but also this was good then is um when i play for goal like two options uh you invis and you like play for them clearing opposite or you like you stack i don't know how to say this better so like you stack with your teammate here and go down mm -hmm. um because then you might not be able to like like if you're here alone and like they can like go on you and you draw away attention, but if you stack, it's like you can almost hide behind your teammate. So like right here, if you get past two, they can just light you up. So I would have just gone down. Okay. I uh it's like I see we are not paying attention to the time. We just absolutely prayed that our spell would solo score. It's based. Yeah, I was just like, if I could I was trying to kill him, but then I realized like when I rewatched this, I was like, dude, I should just, like, after I, like, hit him, get him out of the play, I should walk up. Can't bounce off of the goal kid. I, so I understand why you went for that. So I don't think it's bad just because he fucked Okay, so when he dies here... Oof. Okay. Right there. You should be playing for core control. <laughs> Use my shotgun for core control. Where it's like, you need to know that you need to do everything in your power to make sure the ball does not cross midfield as much as you can anything you can do without you dying mm -hmm. so it's either meaning it either means you trust him to win the one here which may or may not happen and you play the cross or you dip back down and stay with the ball and try to play your life which is risky against drex amy but you go back to the middle and like trade shots 
and then you also don't yeah. cover the cross. So just you make your goalie's life super hard. Yeah. It works out, but I, I I don't think it was because of something you did. I think it was because the lazy piloted it really well. And then did you just die going for their goalie orb? <laughs> and then the other thing is like as soon as that plays over, you need to your eyes need to. It's the same now. I'm just trying to give things that still apply to current game. Your eye needs to flit down to your CDs, and you need to check what you have left. So like, I would not have. I understand, I think, what your decision was. You want to beat her to this and then kill her. I'm like 90 trillion percent sure after watching your Yeah, my, my bonobo brain at this point is like, I can get a cheese kill at him. Yeah, but your brain is... But like I didn't have the CD up, and also I should, should just go to the bottom, kill. yeah. Yeah. Um, just play to not die and then just score. But it's so chill. Yeah. It's, exactly. It's chill, though. Or just stagger your damage with a spell, but I mean... You're getting carried by Rimuru this game, like, kind of low-key, high-key. Yeah, key. yeah. Like, your level one play was sick, and then it feels like every other goals happened because Rimuru dug something miraculous, and then Lazy Walrus held, like, 2v0 with you in his net. And here, this is just boring-ass Drakkar stuff. The Drakkar mirror was so cringe. But there was, like, a certain skill to it. It was cringe, but... <laughs> there was... There was a funny was, little fancy it, the, the strategy was to play the Drakkar Mirror is to not get hit and hit them. That's true. And it was like timing on your shotguns that, when you got into certain yeah, or not. Yeah, and like spacing. It, that's what like doesn't matter anymore though. It was literally just... Yeah. I, I would just play the space shotguns. And that's why like I was doing somewhat okay against Ginger Pop Singular. But his whole team, like I was not playing the map. Like I was not playing to actually like do anything though. I was just playing to play a brawl game and murder him.